Hey, what's going on everybody? It's B Plus. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Now we're not going to waste much time. We're going to go ahead and hop right into this. Now CHH Talk put together a 64 project bracket for the fans to determine what is the greatest CHH project of the year. Now in my opinion, I feel like 2020 was a great year for CHH, so much so that I decided to put together a top 10 video of my personal favorite uh, albums of this year. But in the meantime, I saw this tweet by CHH Talk and I was like, I gotta get involved in this. But I soon found out that they're only doing the voting on IG. I don't have an IG, so I was just left to sit on the outside and sit on the sidelines while this bracket went on. But midway through the day today, which is uh, which is December 9th, I got the idea. How about I just do a live video reaction as I'm picking my own personal favorite albums between the 64 brackets. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so let me go ahead and pull this up on the screen so you guys can see it here. So right now we have our 64 project bracket here broken out in the yellow section, the red section, blue and green. Uh, we're going to zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, Starting off with the yellow bracket, brought to you by the Yellow Ranger. Um, it's, it's late at night, I get silly at night, so um, this one is brought to you by the Yellow Ranger. So we're gonna go pretty quickly through here. We're gonna go Lecrae for the one, the 16 seed. Uh, Dayton and Brian T. Now I know Brian T has a great following. I don't listen to much of his music. Um, I listen to a few, uh, kind of skip through a few tracks of Red Letters just so I can kind of get an idea and a feel. Um, I went with Dayton for their uh, J Way and Cam. Now, I was a big fan of Cam's album. Um, I'm gonna go Cam there for the upset, our first upset. Um, next, when we have Marty and Ryan Lamar. Man, that's another one. Now, Marty's was like an EP. I like some of it. He tried some new stuff on there and I really liked it, especially the singing song he had on there. But I'm gonna go Ryan Lamar for another upset because. Um, it was just a, it was an action-packed full album, A Perfect Mess was. So we're gonna go there. Uh, next we have uh, Joey Vantes, Zay Hill. Zay Hill, he can probably come up with a album of just his features. He's been everywhere this year. Um, I gotta go Joey Vantes. Uh, shout out to him for his marketing this year. I thought that was genius. Um, our 314 seed, I got Montel Fish. Man, that album was crazy. Um, Gavin. The Hot Rod, um, I listened to a little bit of that. I feel like I feel like I heard a little bit of him on Ruslan's channel. I could be wrong. Moving on to the 710 matchup. Now, I didn't listen to either one of these projects when they came out, full, honestly, full disclosure. But what I did was I went to Spotify and I picked their top track off both of those albums and I listened to it and it was a draw. I like both of them. Um, I think the track ship was, um, I think it was Illinois. Provision was like the greatest or something like that. So I went to the next track and I think overall I had to give it to next mic um, For that one and then to round things out um, This one hurt man because I like Mr. Rell a lot um, one of my favorite follows on on uh, Twitter um, But man that 180 by aha that was nice. So I gotta go with I gotta go with aha man I gotta go with aha. Sorry Mitch Okay, let's go ahead and hop into the red bracket. Um, since the first one was brought to you by the Yellow Ranger, it's only right that the next one is brought to you by Raphael of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So we're gonna go ahead and go Gavi number one. Um, great album, um, Reconcile. Uh, I'm gonna give him the nod um, on the 8-9 matchup. Now, Wande versus Drew and K. Now, I like their album a whole lot. But I think I'm gonna go Wande. She's killing it right now. She actually just dropped out something again. So uh, yeah, Wande's doing her thing. So the 4-13 matchup, um, Aha Gazelle and Star Ringo versus Shai Wan. Now Aha and Star Ringo, they are just kind of adjacent to CHH, but I like their approach to their art, man. So authentic, so raw. So I gotta go Aha and Star Ringo. Uh, next up, Joey Vontez, No Big Deal, and DJ Mike LV gift wrap gotta go gift wrap that was um it's fresh it's only been out like maybe a, not even a week but um i'm enjoying that one uh next up ty brazel uh t ross the giant I, I gotta go ty brazel i did a um re album review of ty brazel's project um i like that one a whole lot um moving on to Seven versus 10, YB versus Taylor Gray. Man, this one hurt me. This one hurt me because um, I'm a huge Taylor Gray fan. Even bigger fan of Swoop who produced that whole project. I'm a big fan of both of theirs. So I feel bad for YB because 
uh, the fire emoji uh, project was very, very dope. But man, I gotta go Taylor Gray for another upset. Um, and then next, round everything out. Um, have not listened to Antone Ray. I think I'm saying his name right, but we gotta go Flame, the OG. You gotta give, um, you gotta give that one to Flame. And okay, moving on to the blue bracket, which is unofficially sponsored by Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, we're gonna go with KB versus Coop. I feel bad for Coop because Coop is on the rise. Like he could be the next, um, the next big thing in CHH. So so young, so talented. So shout out to Coop, but we gotta go KB um, again. Brian T. I'm not sure how many projects he put out this year, but Brian T. Again, Dylan Chase. Um, Man, his title track grounded on that alone. I just really liked and really vibe with that. So we gotta go Dylan Chase, uh, Zanti, and Joshua Luke Smith. Now Joshua Luke Smith, my homeboy Logan put me on to him. I believe he's from the UK. Joshua Luke Smith is, but um, I gotta go Zanti. Um, really like his song Glory on there. Uh, next up we got Bizzle and Jay Crumb, Vagabond versus Bizzle. I am not the biggest fan of Bizzle. That's not because Bizzle isn't dope. Bizzle is an OG. Uh, he's done a lot for the genre. I'm just not the biggest Bizzle fan. So, and then on top of that, I love J. Crumb's album. I did an album review on it. Um, didn't know who J. Crumb was before this year started, but I know him now. He's one of my favorites. So I gotta go J. Crumb with the upset. Sorry. Um, next up, Joppa versus um, Cambin. Camden. Um, haven't heard much of Camden before. Um, love Ishan, so it's got to go to G. Um, it's got to go to Jaffa. Next up, we got Broken Heart and uh, Big Breeze. Now, I got hip to Big Breeze through uh, the crew, the Hip Hop Corner. Shout out to them. Um, uh, he's on their It's a Flex uh, playlist. So, with that being said, um, I gotta go. They're they're, they're very opposite albums. Um, I gotta go Broken Heart. Um, it was like a, it's like a lament. I really like that. Um, you, you need that in CH8. So I gotta go Hovey. Uh, next up, we got Dayton versus Zay Hill. Once again, I said Zay Hill was busy this year. We gotta go Dayton. Awesome collab project um, with this a lot of. I mean, he just pretty much. You, if you guys remember, go way back to when Swoop dropped uh, an album by the name of Cinema. He had a song on there called Same Team. What Dayton did with CHH Ain't Dead, he pretty much brought the same team and brought it to a whole album. So I really like that. And then lastly, rounding everything out, Toby. Toby is just, Toby's just a beast. So we got to go Toby to round out the blue, the blue bracket. So let's move on to our green here. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the green bracket, which is of course brought to you by the Incredible Hulk. Now one versus 16 sharp dialect. Uh, looking for the upset against Social Club Misfits. Another spoiler alert. I don't listen to Social Misfits that much. I understand that they are great. I understand that they are the duo of all duos in CHH. Um, but with that being said, I did go uh, Social Club Misfits. Next up, we got a Klesso versus Brian T again. Um, I've confessed I don't listen to much Brian T, even though he's very dope. So we're going to go Klesso. I did check out that album, though. And um, the worst year, um, I think it's Black Klansmen. Um, I mean, he's had a lot of a lot of good uh, stuff on there. It's only been out for a couple weeks, but um, it's been in rotation. Next up, we're going to try to speed things up a little bit. We're going to go Antihero. Um, it's a great album. Um, now we have next up the Prelude by Hobie versus uh, 1K P Sun. I think I'm saying his name right, but we're going to go with a different world. Um, I like that project a lot, actually. So we're going to go with that. Uh, next up, so that's an upset. We're gonna follow that up with another upset with JB Killed It. Um, that's a, I mean, the album artwork alone is very, very dope. So, uh, but he had a nice, uh, a nice flow on there. I, I like that project a whole lot. Moving on, um, now I didn't like this matchup at all. I thought Jared Sanders got a low seed, um, but Paris Chris, um in a very close battle a buzzer beater, if, if you will. Paris Chris, uh wins the first round. Um, our 7-10 matchup mission, Brandon P versus uh, Mogi. Um, I think I'm saying his name right, but um, I like his approach. It's, that song, uh, Mogi's project, is, is almost like a lament as well. Um, and that matchup against uh, Mission and Brandon P is not, not a good one, so we're gonna go Mission. Round things out with Andy Minio, Happy Thoughts. That's just a banger. It's just a banger. So that's gonna round out the round of 64. 
Uh, we're gonna try to go a little bit faster in the next round of 32, see if we can't wrap this thing up a little bit faster.